guys, welcome to the Green Apple Home. Oh my gosh, it's so echoey in this room, which is <laughs> proves the point that I need to put more stuff up on the walls and get this room done. Oh. Okay, so I just wanted to show you quickly what I'm gonna do as far as headboards in Briz and D's room that they're sharing now. It's been quite a long time. Well, I've spent a long time trying to find their bedding because I didn't want it to be too girly. I didn't want it to be too masculine. So I finally found some bedding. So anyways, I wanted to show you the headboard I'm doing for both of my kids. It was $10 each, and they're a set of four panels. This was at the container store. It comes in a bag like this. It's called Decor Cutout Screen Panels, and you get four for 10. I thought it was an awesome deal. So anyways, these are the panels, and what it is is they come, they're all the same panel, and then they come with these little loops, and then you can put them either in a row or you could put them like I did in a square like this and what I'm gonna do and I'll show you in just a sec is I'm gonna put it right up there for her headboard because she doesn't have a headboard anyways isn't that so freaking adorable I couldn't stand it you could just put it on the wall for decoration but it's gonna kind of serve as my headboard and then my boys one is gonna be this green one uh, it's kind of scrolly I don't know I was iffy about this middle part because it kind of looks more like hearts rather than scroll but if I really hate it I can like try and cut it so that they're not quite as hearty <laughs> hearty <laughs> but I think in the room once they're up you won't really notice it being hearts or I could always put a picture over it of like a superhero I don't know whatever but anyways I love it so I thought that was pretty inexpensive for you know for a headboard and to make a, a big large see this it covers a large amount of wall space for to make a big large statement on your wall I thought ten dollars was a good deal okay so I put the little headboard up by the way uh, the panels don't come attached with the little loops they just come single so you could just put them not even together if you wanted to but um, if you do want to put them together with the little hoops that are included um, <laughs> from my experience you want to put the two panels flat and then put them in the loop and then open them because at first I was trying to put them like side by side and trying to loop and then loop anyways it was 99.9% .9 easier when you just put them both flat put the loops in and then open it up like a book just in case you want to you want to go get some they had um, black ones too black could be in a living room or like in a hallway you know like those um, houses that have the switch back stairs in fact I have some of those if you put black on the stairway because some people put a mirror or something like that I think those would be pretty there as just a decorative little wall thingy and they had this green one they had they have in their catalog a white one that has like little birdies um, the silhouettes of birdies which is kind of cute for a girl's room. Um, you can use them as a room divider if you get enough of them. If you're sharing a room, you know, it could be like the room divider. This is your side and my side. Anyways, okay. Enough said. This is the headboard. <laughs> and I think it turned out pretty cute. I just like the colors together of the blue and the orange. And I'm not done yet. But um, I just think, mm -hmm. I just think it's pretty. Of course, it would look prettier with like frou frou pillows and accents right here of orange or whatever, which I'm working on. But, anyways, it did the job of what I wanted it to do to be my little headboard. Could have put it in a strip like one, two, three, four, like that, just coming down the wall. That would have been a little bit more modern looking, I think. In any case, I really liked the way it turned out. I've just been having the hardest time deciding whether to keep my boy in the crib or get a little taller bed. We actually have a little taller bed. I'm not quite ready for him to get out of the crib because you know once they get out of the crib then out goes their naps depending on your kid but mine probably will end his naps once he ends the crib. So anyways the headboard ten dollars cute cuteness. I wanted to just show you this one um, pulled out so you can see the cute scrolls of it. Alright, thanks for watching. We will see you next time on the Green Apple Home.